So I just got a brand new tablet from a company called Gaumon, and they asked me to review it, so what better way to test out a new drawing tablet than with a drawing challenge? The tablet is called MK106, and it's very similar to my old tablet, a Wacom Intuos, but it's a bit cheaper. I think I got my Intuos for about uh, the equivalent of about $80, and this tablet is going for like $69, but even though it's cheaper, is it better? Let's find out. So I've been to Twitter and asked my followers to send me a bunch of random images. No context, no explanation, and I'm gonna try to draw these images in 10 seconds. I haven't looked at my Twitter since I posted the tweet asking for pictures, so I don't know what they look like yet. Let's go. Welcome to Twitter. It's all downhill from here, guys. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of these, like, weirdly edited images of people's, like, friends from high school. Beautiful. Oh. W what is this? Do I want to know? Okay. Well... Okay. This doesn't explain anything, but I think that's a good thing because I don't really want to know what happened to this poor doggo. It looks very, very, very distressed. I, and it, it, it pretty much sums up my, my feelings towards this entire video. So let's draw it. Okay, go. Wow. That's loud. Um, this is pretty accurate, to be honest. I think I really captured the um, angst from the original image. So I turned my speakers down, let's continue. Okay. So, I've seen images of cats making this weird face quite a lot. Is, is it like an actual thing that cats do? It looks like a gremlin. I d okay. You know, this is some great gesture drawing practice. Also, I'm really coming to appreciate how little time 10 seconds is. Jeez. Um, hmm. I feel like this is the kind of image that you would see in a museum long after I'm dead and people would appreciate it as some form of modern abstract art which was exactly my intention when I created this. Now this... What is that, like a beer? See, you see this is already a work of art. I don't even need to draw this because it's already museum worthy, you see. Sums up this entire video. Just laying on the ground, this is fine. What's the point? I decided to draw this one because I think it would be kind of interesting. Okay. Okay, go. You see, the problem with 10 seconds is... I don't really get the chance- I don't get the chance to draw like the body and stuff so it just looks like a puking floating cat head i like the amount of cats i'm being sent i really appreciate that thank you as for this one um it's very uh that cat looks like he's having a good time i need to draw this actually the one i just drew Pr pretty much looks like the image already <laughs> but I already said I'm gonna draw it so I'm gonna draw it I kind of panic towards the end there 
I thought maybe I could draw it and make it look different to the to the other one, but it looks the same. It looks like this one, but more puke. The puke is splooging out of its mouth this time. It's not it's not just flowing, it's splooging. This was a good idea. Oh, nice cat. <laughs> okay. See th this is a this is a perfect character design idea, okay? I can use this. I can make something beautiful with this. Just watch me. Just watch me. So the problem with drawing in 10 seconds is you can't exactly go back and change things. So I realized that I drew the foot wrong and I panicked and I was like, no, oh no, I gotta change that. Oh wait, I can't. And then I saw that there was two seconds left and I hadn't drawn the face yet. <laughs> I'm not gonna draw that. Oh, doggo. That is one cute doggo. And I'm tempted to draw it because it looks like there's not too much stuff on the screen to draw. However, I think you would hate me if I would butcher your beautiful doggo in 10 seconds. Aww. Aww. There's another one. Oh, he's got a funny hat on. Aww. Okay, I don't know if this is your dog or not. But I'm gonna hope not because I'm gonna draw it very badly right now. Are you ready? Because I'm not. Anyway, I think that one turned out pretty good. I'd hang this on my wall. I'd frame it. <laughs> yeah. This is a gif, it doesn't count, but I want to see what it is. I just... I don't get it. Is this like one of those like abstract memes where you like not supposed to get it? Because I don't get it. <laughs> Aww. What a cute tree. That's, that's top notch. Oh no, no! This is this is <laughs> no. <laughs> Th this is my reaction to the dog one. This is me. This is my. This is my spirit animal. This child is my spirit animal. You know what we must do. It's my duty. This hurts me. And I I feel uncomfortable looking at my own drawing. What have I become? They say a person's artwork is a reflection of their mind. No, stop. 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 What is this? Um, hello. Incredibles 2 spoilers. So when I was still looking at this image, I was like, Oh, it's just it's a cute doggo. Oh, no. No, oh. Okay. But this is beautiful. I can't I can't pass up on this. But I do have to get my my 10 second drawing game on point cuz I've been doing pretty terrible. So let's try and get as much of the drawing in as get I'm going to try to draw as much as possible. Wow, I already messed up. I think I want to change my character to this. I'm not I'm not Chip anymore. I'm um Dogwin. Choose your fighter. I don't even need to draw this because I have the perfect image right here. I knew this would come in handy someday. 
That's a parador. That's a. That's that's a thing that that exists. It's toilet duck. So let's find out. Can I draw better than a thirteen-year-old? The answer is absolutely not. I kind of like it though. I feel like it has some some style to it, you know. I feel like I could make a cartoon for Netflix using this art style and be able to pass it off as my style. No, it it doesn't look intensely creepy and out of place or anything. It's just my style. It's just, it's just my style, guys. Oh, the last time I played Minecraft so long ago, I used to love it. Must have been like, oh jeez, I don't know, like, like a week ago. Time sure flies. Yeah, I, I loved playing Minecraft as a kid. You, you see I'm hesitant to draw things like this because it like already looks bad. <laughs> I, I can't exactly make it worse by drawing it in 10 seconds. It's gonna look intentional. Now this, this is worthy. <sighs> How beautiful. How beautiful. I think I got the expression pretty accurate though. But it doesn't quite look like a banana on his head. Looks looks more like a like a crisp like a potato chip or something. So that's gonna be it for the ten second drawings. But I feel bad for review. I feel bad for showcasing a tablet by drawing a bunch of terrible art with it. So I'm gonna take some of the some of the pieces that I've created today and turn them into something beautiful. So while this is playing, I guess I'll talk about the tablet. And I think the easiest way I can review this thing is to compare it to my old tablet that I've been using for over three years now. Firstly, the Gaoman tablet was very easy to set up, which is nice. All I had to do was download the drivers from their website. And you have this little app where you can set up the tablet with, and there's a lot of options. The tablet has a ton of buttons that you can set up to the keyboard keys, including multiple keys to one button. So for example, instead of pressing Ctrl, Alt and Z to undo on Photoshop, I can just press this one button on the tablet. My Intuos tablet only has four of these buttons and I honestly never used them. I found them a bit confusing to set up and they're kind of in an awkward place. On the Gaoman tablet, they're on the right so you can draw with your left hand and press the buttons with your right hand. Or flip the tablet around and do the opposite if you're right-handed. The tablet is also quite a bit larger than my old one, and it actually doesn't fit on my desk unless I prop up the keyboard. But I can imagine this being very nice with a desk where you have like a shelf that you can pull out and use the tablet there. Also if you use the buttons you probably won't even need your keyboard there while you're drawing. Also I've definitely come to appreciate the size of the tablet, particularly in comparison to my old one. I feel it's a lot easier to draw smaller details without having to zoom in a lot. The pen took quite a while to get used to as it's a bit weightier than my Intuos one, which was weird because I was so used to it, but after using it for a while it feels great. It responds to pressure accurately and I didn't notice any major delay or lag. Also, it's a rechargeable pen, which I was a bit skeptical about at first, but apparently after charging for 2-3 to three hours, it has about 350 hours of power. So if you just charge it every so often when you're not using it, you shouldn't have an issue where the pen stops working in the middle of drawing or something like that. Another thing I wanted to mention about the pen is, it's a lot cheaper to replace than most Wacom tablet pens, which is something that always bothered me about Wacom tablets. That being said, you probably won't be replacing the pen often because the material it's made of is very sturdy. As long as you're not doing something stupid like chewing it, then it should last a long time. So that's... Pretty much everything. The only negative I have is that it's a little bit louder than the Intuos. Both the buttons and drawing with the pen get picked up more often by my mic, 
when I'm recording. But it's honestly not a huge deal, especially if you're not interested in making videos or streaming or anything like that. Now if you are, it could be edited out easily and most people probably won't mind it. So yeah, I'd recommend it. I think the price is great for the quality, size and amount of customization you can do. And it works just as well as my old Intuos, but with even more features. And the company does a lot of offers and promotions, so definitely look out for those. The only thing I can't really test right now is the durability. How long it lasts, if it breaks easy, you know. I've been using it almost daily for about two weeks now, and there's no visible scratches, none of the materials are broken or anything like that. It's pretty much good as new. But I'm planning to keep using this instead of my old one, so what I'm going to do is update the description of this video every few months or so and let you know how it's doing and if everything still works. <laughs> this looks like some kind of abstract shirt design. I like it though, it's kind of cool, I don't know. And I very much enjoyed this challenge as a whole, it was great. Let me know which was your favourite 10 second drawing. And now let's go back to the past and unbox this tablet. So here's the box they sent me. Uh, ignore the, the smushed stuff, that's my fault, but um, this is how it came otherwise uh, with, with, uh, with the dresses and stuff on it, of course, I already took that off. Wow. Very nice. Normal. You have to open the other side too. There it is. <sighs> okay, so it's really cold outside today, so there was like some fog on it. I don't know how that happens, but it's, I've wiped it off now and now it looks better. Here you got like the 12 buttons, uh, the little little pen holder there. And it has a little uh, grips on the bottom. Here's the pen. Wow. Please take the pen cap off before using. <laughs> Good thing they told me that. Little nib. Feels pretty. Feels really like, you know, high quality. It's like the same kind of material that my current Intuos tablet is. It like, when I, when they told me about this tablet, I was expecting it to kind of be a bit like, with, with like cheap plastic, but it feels like very sturdy and like similar to the one, to the Intuos one. I don't know what this is. So it's got like replacement nibs in it maybe? Yeah, yeah. That's the the thing to pull the nibs out with and there's like four replacement nibs. And this little packet is freaking amazing. I always lost like the 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 thing to pull out the nib and stuff. I always lost it. That's really nice. So there's this little manual here and it tells you about how to uh, install and stuff and like what the buttons do and such. So apparently this pen is a chargeable one. I've never used a tablet with a chargeable pen before, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I wonder if the... I, I, I kind of imagine the battery life being kind of annoying, especially since I'm used to not having to charge the pen, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, so here's the power cables and stuff. I believe this one is for the... Jeez, oh, they're really cold. Freaking freezing outside today. Uh, this is the for the chat for the, to charge the pen, and this one is to plug the tablet into your computer. Here's the 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 glove. <laughs> this is the drawing glove I usually use, except I don't usually use it because it's it was a one size fits all, cost like one pound but it's a little bit too big for me because I have freakishly small hands so it kind of like curls up like this kind of like bunches up and it's kind of annoying to draw with so maybe this one's better, let's find out so the material is a lot different, it's nice and smooth this one is quite rough, it's like soft but like slightly rough and it's very thin too uh, it's bigger than this one it still doesn't fit me but I can imagine the smoother material being a lot easier to work with. Yeah, you don't really need drawing gloves anyway for these kinds of tablets. Some people find them more helpful, but they're usually for when you have like a screen tablet anyway. I'll try using it anyway though. 
So yeah, let's find out how this thing works. I know this video has gone on for way too long, but I just wanted to say quickly that despite being too big for me, I still like the drawing glove a lot. It's very nice to draw with, so I'd recommend it if you're interested in getting one. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss next week's video where I argue with a skeleton. Okay, bye!